program. Uh, we've got a booth in the back. I brought a whole slew of salesmen with me to uh, sell drip irrigation. So if y'all have any questions on drip or moisture probes, uh, uh, I invite you to come back there and give us a visit. Um, guys, before we did a, a great job on explaining how capacitance probes work, uh, my probes are capacitance probes, so, you know, they all, like the, like the John Deere guy said, they all pretty much work the same. It's, it's, the only difference is, you know, how the information is delivered and how you can view it on the website. So I'm going to go over a little bit about how our website works and, and then get into Eddie Teeter's uh, cotton field that he has drip on. I have a 40-inch probe in that. Uh, when you first log in, this is the first uh, page you see. Uh, this is real quick and easy way to look at uh, all your probes. You, this guy right here, he's got seven probes. And uh, you can see that uh, up here, there's a diff couple of different colors of, uh, of dots up there. There's some blue, red, and green. And, and uh, I'll, I'll get into a little bit of, uh, in a second about what all those mean. Uh, if you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, status, it says 83.56%. And then irrigation recommendation is uh, 0.33 inches. So if you don't only have a little bit of time, you can look on this and get a pretty good idea of where you're where you're sitting at. Uh, the next uh, uh, tab you'll see is the irrigation recommendation. Uh, see the, the seven uh, fields that this guy has. He's got uh, uh, some red, some green, and some blue. and uh, really doesn't mean a whole lot uh, to you if you don't understand where this information comes from. So I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, right here, this is our weighted average graph. Uh, it's pretty much uh, the sum of all six sensors we have on this probe. It's a 40-inch probe. We got uh, sensors of 4, 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40 inches. And uh, you can see here uh, that green line. That is our that's our whole profile we're looking at. Uh, you can see the stair steps that Toxie was talking about. Uh, each time it goes down a little bit, that's during the day, and uh, levels off at night. Uh, so we got two lines up here. The top line that's going to be our field capacity. That's a you know, that's is most that's is the most amount of moisture that that soil can hold before gravity takes over and leaches it out of the bottom. Bottom line is 60% uh, plant available water. Uh, it's pretty much the onset of stress. It's not permanent wilting point by no means, but uh, it's uh, you're getting pretty dry and that plant's going to be stressed a little bit during the day. Uh, if you look at uh, kind of excuse me, right here, there's a rain event and then it starts going down. There's really no stair steps right there. Uh, until you get to about right here, then the stair steps get bigger and then they get smaller as it goes over here. So, you know, above field capacity, especially on cotton when there's a, when there's, when your soil is saturated, it's pretty hard for that cotton plant to extract moisture out of the, out of the ground efficiently. So it's, it's going to be stressing a little bit when it's above that line. Uh, you see when it gets into, in between the lines, it's, uh, it's a little better, uh, get bigger stair steps and then when you get below it, there's smaller stair steps. So, um, I'm going to go back to this that uh, page I just showed you, but I want you to keep in mind that uh, field capacity, this top line, we're going to call it 100%, and uh, this uh, bottom red line, we're going to call it 0%. Uh, so just keep that in your head, and it'll make a little sense when you see this. So uh, say you wake up in the morning, you're drinking your coffee, and you only got a little bit of time, you don't want to uh, yeah. dive into it real deep, you just want to have a general idea of where you're at in all your fields. So you can look at this one. So let's look at this bottom one. Uh, right here, it's at 21.05 percent right now. So again, you know, 100 percent fill capacity, zero percent is actually 60 percent plant available water. So uh, if you have that in your head and you can remember where that graph was, you, you have a pretty good, good idea of where you're at. So uh, since he's at 21.05 percent right now, uh, what's it going to take? How much rainfall do I need right now to get to 100 uh, percent? You know, right now. Uh, irrigation recommendation so on, showing uh, 1.91 inches. Uh, then if you look over here, we got some more numbers over here. Uh, so if we're at 21.05 today, where can we expect to be tomorrow? Uh, I'm showing a 20.7 tomorrow, the day after that 19, and the day after that 17. So it's kind of a, it's a three-day forecast. It takes into account the last five days of what that plant is taken out of the ground and populates uh, that three-day demand. It's real nice to have. Uh, next graph, uh, next page that when you're on the website, what you'll see is you'll see all four of these graphs, and it's all on one page, just one click, and you got all of these, and it's, it, it's it's real nice to have this because you don't have to flip through a lot of things. You can compare your your weighted average up here, like I was saying, and then we got our separate levels right here. We got our root zones right here, 
and then that forecast. And, and I can explain a little bit what those mean on the next slide. All right, so here's uh, Eddie Teeter's field. It's drip. Uh, he's got a, I think it's right above 0.2 uh, inches per day is what he can put out over that drip field. That's right, okay. Um, this is, I uh, made this yesterday afternoon. I was real excited about the rain. I had it. I didn't know I was going to get another one, but this is the one that we had the night before last. So we can see, uh, you know, four inches, eight inches, 16 inches. They all jumped up pretty big. Uh, the, the yellow one, this is our uh, 24 inches. It bumped just a little bit, but uh, I imagine over the days, as the days go by, we'll, we'll start seeing a little bump in the in the deep ones. But we're still, still, still a little dry down deep. Uh, this is the last 30 days of what we've seen on Eddie Teeter's field. Uh, here, uh, I think this was uh, about a two inch rain right there. Uh, we can see our four inch go down, our eight inch go down, 16's going down, 24's going down. Uh, past two weeks, maybe a week, 32 inch has gone down, and then even over the past week, we've got moisture uh, being extracted down 40 inches deep. Uh, Here's the rain event, it goes down. He turns his irrigation on right here. And uh, since we can only put out, you know, just a little over 0.2 inches, uh, we're pretty much just meet, meeting the demand of what that cotton is needing. So we're not gaining uh, and we're not losing right here. Uh, turn it on again right there. Uh, this is our weighted average graph again. Uh, you know, fill capacity, 60% plant available water. And here's all those sensors added together. Uh, you can see it go down and then that rain we had two nights ago. Uh, I've had this probe in the ground 72 days, and so here's just the whole season of what I've had the probe in. Uh, we can see, uh, here's where I installed it. Uh, four and eight inches start going down, that's about where our roots were. Got a nice rain, got a bump in our 40 inches right here. Then we turned on right here, kind of leveled it out. Uh, but if you look up here at our 16 and 24 inches, we were actually gaining moisture down there. So the jerk was putting out more water than what the plant needed. And we were, we were banking it down in our profile. Uh, turn, uh, turned off for a few days, started going down, turned on right here. Uh, again, we still got a bump at our 16 to 24 inches. Uh, turned off, started sucking water out, got a nice rain. We turned off again, and uh, then we turned uh, our irrigation back on right here. And if you see right here at 16 and 24 inches, uh, we're losing uh, ground right there. Uh, we weren't able, able to meet up with the, the plant, so we're losing moisture there, but the plant was still taking it up from the from the 8 and 16 inch and even down down a little deeper. Then you can see our that rain right there. Uh, again, this is our weight uh, our weighted average graph throughout the whole year. Uh, you can kind of uh, put together what that's telling us. Uh, this is our root zones graph. This is a, a real nice graph to have. It's, it's real easy to look at. Uh, there's three different graphs in here. Let's think of this one as our top foot, our second foot, and our third foot. So you can kind of just uh, you know see where, where our roots are full of moisture. You we know, don't get got a few rains here, full of moisture up here. Uh, rain uh, event got all the way down to here, and we sucked a lot of moisture out of the ground right here. And then even down here, our third foot pulling pulling pretty good moisture. And uh, that, that's all the slides I have. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to attempt to answer them. Or if you want to catch me afterwards, I'd be more than glad to. Question for Brady? What are your units on your axis? On your axis on your probes, uh, what, what are the numbers on your axis? What does that mean? Oh, okay. you mentioned water content. Thank you.